Good morning, family. I'm back. It's been a rough couple of days for me, y'all. I just, I don't know, but I'm gonna get back into it for the rest of the year. Um, so I just wanna come back and say good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 23. I wanna give a shout out to my boo Dre for holding it down the last couple of days on Vlogmas. I just pulled out chicken for dinner and then ham for Christmas dinner. Hey y'all. I am really doing a sucky job of vlogging these days, but literally I feel like all I do is like make food and work and make food and maybe do the dishes and clean. Um, I have been to a couple of stores the last couple of days, but I just forget to vlog when I go inside the store. So I got to do better. Um, but I made myself some Mexican street corn earlier it is so good i'm gonna insert a picture it's basically just um like the sweet corn and then of course you do your butter your salt your pepper and then you put some mayonnaise duke's mayonnaise and then the tahine seasoning which i'll insert a picture of that too uh, which has a, like a really strong lime taste and when i tell y'all i'm addicted it's so good and i just been tired y'all like i don't know not in the holiday spirit i just haven't been feeling the best but i'm trying to bring myself out of it so sorry i haven't really been vlogging um, we're almost through vlogmas um i do think we'll continue to vlog after vlogmas but it may be more of like a weekly thing um we didn't do any of the ideas that y'all suggested but it's not over yet so maybe we will so thanks for not giving up on us and um Maybe we'll answer a relationship question when Dre gets home. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. A little midday snacky snack. I need to put some of this tahine on this popcorn, y'all. I'm addicted to this stuff. Give it a little lime flavor. A little sriracha salt. <laughs> Excuse my dirty dishes. Y'all know we, we cook and eat a lot around here. Y'all, get you some tahine. Look at us being out and about. Y'all remember earlier when I told you I wasn't in the Christmas spirit? I'm going to get into the Christmas spirit right now. Stay tuned. We're in the car on the way to get into some Christmas spirits. And um, we decided we'll do a relationship question in the car. So I just like Google relationship questions. And the one that we came across was, what do we think each other's best quality is? Would you like to go first, Dre? Or would you like me to go first? What do you think my best quality is? Your frugalness, but that's like, not necessarily frugalness, but like financial sense. Yeah, it could be classified as frugalness, but financial sense. You just have a good sense on finances, like dealing with finances. I don't know. I don't know how to sum it up other than you have a good financial sense. Y'all, I kept, the way I put the phone kept causing the uh, recording to pause, so I'm not sure what y'all got. But Dre said he likes my financial sense. He said he really can't sum it up, but he just likes, like give one example. We have a good we have good financial stability like and that's accredited to you just because of the way that you, you have mold and made me more aware of different financial stuff we don't deal in credit cards we don't deal in none of that stuff if we don't have the cash for it or if we don't have the money for it then we ain't doing it consequently we don't have like most people in America got thousands of dollars in credit card debt, thousands, hundreds, multiple thousands in car loan debts. Like we don't, we don't do that stuff. Yeah, we have a car loan and we have a house loan or like credit stuff don't, we, that's not us. I think I've always been pretty good with like finances and living within my means. And I accredit that to my mama. So thanks girl, if you're watching, you know, I've never 
have been big on um, running up a whole bunch of credit cards for stuff that we don't need or that's not a necessity. And anything that I do, anything that I do, including but not limited to buying a car, you know, like we bought this little Ford Fiesta and I'm just as happy in my Ford Fiesta because I can afford it. It was brand new. It has all of the features that are good for me. You know, I just don't need the, the latest and greatest and flashiness. Bills aren't due on the due date. They're due on the day that you get paid. Pay all your bills and then whatever you got left is what you have to, uh, to spend or splurge with. That's just kind of how I've always been because um, having debt or pans know paying for something very expensive or over uh, spending on something it just makes me feel sick like I just cannot um, but thanks boy I appreciate that we're in this Ford Fiesta they don't got good shocks but it, it was a Ford no I mean, it, it does have <laughs> good shocks because the shocks are less than a year old no, but they don't have, it's they don't not have, an air ride suspension right. this ain't no luxury ride it is contract to grade Yep. So one quality that I really love about Dre is Dre is a dreamer, but he doesn't just dream. He like sets goals and actually accomplishes them. Um, he, you know, throughout our relationship, he's accomplished a lot of just like personal goals. Um, it's kind of like a love hate with it because he, sometimes he dreams so big. Me with my frugalness, um, I just can't see the big picture at the time that he's dreaming and I can admit this about myself and I tell Dre this is like yeah I might complain when you have an idea and you want to do something and it costs a lot of money but then I have to check myself and say well if this idea actually blows then I probably won't be complaining <laughs> you know I would be right there for the ride um, so sometimes I do have to check myself, but I think we balance each other very well because he's a, a big risk taker and I'm like very low risk. No risk. I really, I would rather just save my money and collect 0.5% interest every quarter. <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm more of a low risk person. Dre is a high risk person and he has really pushed me outside of my comfort zone. If it wasn't for Dre, there is a lot of things that I probably would not have done or accomplished in my life. Um, so I appreciate you, boo. Speaking of which, I just, uh, what I was reading on my iPad was, uh, I just enrolled in uh, IFR training, uh, test prep training. Nice. So, so y'all know he has his private uh, passenger. Private pilot. <laughs> You have a private passenger license too because you are licensed to drive this private passenger vehicle. <laughs> but uh, he has this private pilot license. Um, so now he's going to get his instruments, <laughs> I call it, but his instrument rating. So basically he can fly in less than desirable weather. And when I say less than desirable, I mean desirable for me. So he can fly like when it's cloudy, um, rain and snow, stuff like that. He can't do yeah. it yet, but that's what he is. He probably could do it. No, not allowed to. No, right. right. He could do it, but legally. legally. And he, he yeah. won't try it if it's not legal. Um, so, yay, that's exciting when you start. Uh, well, I'm doing a test. So, I'm doing a test prep first. So, in order to get any aviation rating, there's typically three parts to it. A written test prep from the FAA, an oral exam, and a flight exam. The flight exam and, and the oral exam is typically on the same day. But in between that. oral exam. The FAA oral exam and the flight is on the same day typically. What I'm going to do is do the written exam first, get that knocked out of the way. So while I'm doing the flight portion of it, I'm only just focusing on the flight portion. All right. Well, we're here to get our Christmas spirit. Got to get the spirit where you can get it. All right. Let's make sure you don't. Uh, Dre had to get the all over the world if you can keep up. Where's a bartender? We need more liquor. Book the ticket, book the cruise, and we on the move. Subscribe to our YouTube. You know what to do. Your friend is on the beach. I laid out by the pool. Time for dinner. We're going to get something to eat. From the Thai restaurant. <laughs> gotcha. Is this your first time trying Thai? No. Oh. Oh, so who you have Thai with? You forget that I actually travel over oh, different he's countries. Old. He's a world traveler. I've never tried Thai food, but the reviews look pretty good. All right, 
So I didn't know what a flat noodle was. I thought I was getting like Thai noodles, so I ordered a side of Thai noodles. Mm, this still is not hitting. I should have gotten that. But I'm always being extra. Right, Dre? 